warning from Boracay. Sunday morning. What's Carlisle's fucking dismal, dismal shellacking at home to Bolton last night? God, why do I bother? Awful, quite awful. Right, this is where we are at. That's where I'm staying in that beach hut. Coco Loco. Let's take a walk. Let's hope it's not too windy. Yeah. Right, what did we get up to last night? A few beers, a few bars. And if I'm honest, fucking shitload of grief. Well, that's for a, that's for another video. Stunning location. I don't know if I don't know if these are all fishing boats or I think they will be. Might have a wander right up there later. So all these are like little resorts and little hotels. Set the shoes off. I think I. I'm here for three nights and I paid, I think I paid a hundred and just over a hundred and twenty quid for three nights, which included breakfast, which I'm honest was average, but that's kind of what you expect when you're in the Philippines. Well, it's certainly a stunning, a stunning place. From what I've seen so far, anyway. So I'm in station three. Station two up there, which is the more lively from what I've seen last night. Uh, Sit down, let's have a sit down. There's some rather nice looking, uh, nice looking bodies on the beach, shall we say. Sunday morning so uh, I think basically it's just gonna be beach swimming and relaxing today a bit of exploring and see what we can get up to there is plenty of water sports here but 
I'm not going to do any of them. I'm just going to chill out. Away from the madness that was uh, Manila and Angeles. So, uh, right, anyway, we'll uh, catch you a bit later. Alright, we had a bit of a camera mal malfunction there. Check that out. So yeah, what I was saying was, um, regarding cost, right, the cost was, uh, my flight was about 120 quid return from Clark Angeles. Uh, my hotel was about just over a ton for three nights. Uh, and also, the terminal fee, environmental fee, and the boat ride over from Cataclan, which is where you get off the uh, plane at, was 500 peso. Um, you can fly from Manila as far, well definitely you can, and Angeles, I don't know about anywhere else in the Philippines. Um, probably be able to fly from Cebu. Uh, what else can we say? Regarding the cost of food, slightly dearer than everywhere, anywhere else in the Philippines. Uh, but the, uh, the beer was about 100, 110 peso, which is pretty much standard to be honest, uh, what you pay in the Philippines. Check this little cove out. So overall, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a place you should visit, I believe. It's obviously not it's not for a single person if I'm honest. It's more a couple a couple or the family. Packed. It was packed when I came down yesterday. Uh, when I got off the, uh, when I got over to the island. But obviously, it's quite early in the morning, so it's a little bit quieter. So yeah, that's it. That's. Uh, that's my first impressions of Boracay. Obviously just being on station three, it's a lot quieter. Uh, if you want to be in the heart of things, station two is the place to stay. But that's only 10 minutes, 10 minutes walk up the beach. And after that, you've got station one, which I've heard is pretty much exactly like station three. A bit, uh, a bit more chilled and laid back. So uh, yeah. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the general, the general gist of it, I think. Would I recommend? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been on my bucket list for years, this place. So, uh. There we go, Boracay, a first impression. It's, it's packed, it's packed with tourists, definitely. Uh, so if you're wanting a bit quieter vibe, then I probably would go somewhere else, but you've got to come here once. And obviously there is every nationality about. But it's spot on. Uh, what else can we say? Room, room was spot on. Uh, you're, not, you're not really in the room, are you? So uh, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's comfortable, it's got all the amenities. So uh, there you go. All right, we'll catch you a bit later on.
take the man climbing up the tree. Coconuts up there. Sorry, sorry. The coconuts up there. Coconuts. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want? No, I don't. I'm just, I'm just amazed by how he can climb. Yeah. 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 And it's windy. Balls of steel. <laughs> I wouldn't even climb up a third of that. Crazy. Knackers, big knackers. Shang it. Things are flying down. Ah, he's still up there somewhere. Sunday lunchtime, obviously loads of people from Manila have gone back home for work on Monday, so it's pretty quiet here. Cocktails, buy one, get one free, gin and tonic, 190 peso, which is about £2.50, £2.50 for two of them. Test match cricket. Happy days. 50 partnership for the eighth wicket. Go on England, fucking have it. Coco Loco. Great spot. Right, I've had to leave that bar. Fucking <laughs> hell. So, what did we have there? We had two gin and tonics, three San Miguelites, and a pizza for dinner. 
and it cost me 13 quid right beat that beat that and then beat that absolute F in heaven Borokai what a place Jesus while listening to the test match as well that is All right, let's take a let's take a walk up to station two. Oh, she can smell nice. Alright, this is the main strip going through uh, the centre of Borakai. Obviously, the main road. Pretty much one step back from the beach. I haven't got a clue what's on it, but I can't imagine it would be as busy as what the beach side is. these trikes are e-trikes e as well so electric powered which has to be a first in the Philippines yeah, I definitely don't think there's going to be much on here as in way of bars and hotels and whatnot so I think it might have to be a head back to the beach. I am looking for the midget bar. Yes, there's a bar called the midget bar. And obviously I don't have to tell you what that's about. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look for that. <laughs> 